This tutorial will go over the setup menu on the Butler display. We'll start with the Updates tab. System Info shows you the current software version of the display, the robot or black motor box, and the stitch regulator. Update Robot is used to install USB updates. Motor Reversed will reverse the directions that the motors turn. This is used in situations when the motor box is mounted to the carriage backwards. Sometimes this is the only way to mount the black motor box, so this feature increases the flexibility during installation of the unit. Max speed sets the maximum speed that the motors will turn while in use. The number is best thought of as a percentage of the total power available to the motors. If you feel the machine is traveling too slowly and you want the machine to travel faster, you can increase this setting. If the setting is set too high, you may experience vibrations when Butler is traveling across the frame. Min speed sets the minimum speed that the motors will turn while in use. Min speed shouldn't need to be changed. Lock sets the number of stitches used when Butler performs a tie-off or lock stitch. Next we'll go over the constants tab. Timeout is disabled. E-stop or emergency stop is used to stop the machine if there is too much resistance while Butler is moving the machine. The number for e-stop sets the threshold before Butler will stop the machine and display an error message. If this setting is set too low, then the weight of the machine alone could trigger the emergency stop. If the setting is too high, then we run the risk of tearing the quilt top if the needle is in the down position and the machine tries to move. One example of when we may need to adjust this setting is if I have a thick quilt rolled onto the take-up bar in the throat space of my machine. The rolled quilt may be pressing down on the machine, causing friction or resistance that the motors sense. This resistance may set off the emergency stop. In this particular case, we would bump up e-stop by 10 or 20 and try to use Butler again. Margin lets you set, in inches, the margin on the edge of the pattern box when smart scaling a pattern. To demonstrate this, I'll set the margin to 1 inch and then go smart scale my pattern. You can see that the margins between each edge of the pattern and pattern box are now exactly 1 inch. Jump stitch lets you set the distance in inches that Butler can perform a jump stitch without requesting that you cut the thread. So, for example, if I set jump stitch to 6 inches and the pattern I have loaded contains an 8 inch jump stitch, Butler would prompt me to cut the thread before continuing the pattern. Similarly, if my pattern contains a 5 inch jump stitch, Butler would automatically perform the jump stitch since it is less than the 6 inches we set. Also, a jump stitch setting of 0 means that Butler will always perform the jump stitch, regardless of how far it is. Acceleration is used to set how quickly the motors accelerate from a full stopped position until they reach the max speed that was set in the parameters tab. It's best to think of this value as a percentage of the max speed. So for example, if acceleration is set to 100, then the motors instantly accelerate to the max speed set in the parameters tab. Lower settings would allow more time for the motors to accelerate up to max speed. Curvature sets the maximum speed the machine will travel on a curve. Lead line sets the speed the machine travels when it isn't stitching. For example, when the machine first moves to the start of a pattern, it travels at the lead line speed. Increment sets, in inches, what increment to use when moving the pattern, adjusting pattern spacing, and adjusting pattern offsets. The default increment is one-tenth of an inch. Machine type in the advanced tab is used to ensure that Butler is communicating properly with your specific brand of machine. Setting the machine type inputs preset values for needle up flag, needle up press and weight, and SRAG press and weight. Needle up press sets in milliseconds how long the robot will send a signal to the quilting machine to bring the needle into the up position. Stitch regulator press is the same setting, but for the stitch regulator. 
Needle up wait sets how long Butler will wait after sending the signal to needle up before performing its next action. Again, stitch regulator wait is the same setting, but for the stitch regulator. All of these settings are used to make sure that Butler is communicating properly with your quilt machine. These values are all set automatically when you select your machine type from the drop down menu. Needle up and stitching are both used in a factory setting to test communications with the needle up, down, and the stitch regulator. Factory defaults resets all values back to their original values, which can be useful if you have altered a setting and can't remember where to return that setting to. Be careful when you use factory defaults as it will reset all the values throughout the machine and not just the one you have just changed. Demo is for use in commercial settings to automate the movement of the machine. Metric units lets you switch the units of measurement from inches to centimeters. Some digitized patterns define breaks in the pattern where the quilter is supposed to stop and change the color of their thread. With ignore colors enabled, those breaks are ignored and no prompt will be provided to switch the color of the thread. The test tab is used to test communication between the black motor box and the quilt machine. Test X and Test Y test the encoder counts of the X and Y motors. Port D tests communication between Butler and the handlebars of your machine. Test All will run all the tests in order. This tab is used in-house to test units before they are distributed. Our last tab, Configuration, is password protected and contains settings that only need to be adjusted by an authorized dealer.